is going on tonight, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we're doing episode 5 of Midnight Sessions. So it's been a little while since I've done one of these, and uh, they're a lot of fun because there's no agenda, like I said before. It's just kind of laid back and chill, I'm just hanging out, play some guitar, chat a little bit, and, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. So, you know, it's something fun to do when you're up late at night or you can't sleep, you know, throw on the camera and just uh, play a little guitar. Why not? Because... Uh, no one else is here. Might as well go for it. So, back to my metal roots tonight we go. Uh, we did the vintage thing for a little while, and that's a lot of fun. I gotta give equal uh, time for the modern stuff, too, because that's really what I'm into these days. That's the kind of music I'm writing, primarily. Uh, so, back to the Harley Benton Amarok. Great guitar. I've got this one tuned down to D standard, which is a full step down. And uh, I've got heavier gauge strings on these two. I think it's 11 to 52s or 54s. I can't remember exactly. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Hit some low, low end chugs. And uh, we're using the Nero DSP Gojira amp tonight, which is a lot of fun too. Sounds killer. I've yet to use the octave pedals though that come specifically with this uh, plugin. They're a lot of fun. They sound really great. But I just haven't found <clears throat> my groove as far as writing riffs or melodies or what have you. You know, they're a little bit more kind of like the ambient feel, maybe lower gains. It might work better. I don't really know. It's something i got to work out, but I definitely will at some point. If you want a really good, a really concise and thorough demo of the Neu Neural DSP Gojira amp, I highly recommend you check out um, the channel Soulhenge. He did a review of this, I don't know, when it first came out, six months or more ago, and... Uh, Basically, he's the reason why I bought this amp, because he had some phenomenal tones in that demo, and it just sounded great, and, you know, it's a lot of fun to kind of mix it up and, you know, get some ambient tones and some different sounds than what you, you know, normally use. I figured i uh, start off with that little genty jam there, and maybe do something with a little more, more of a clean tone right now, so let's check that out. Let's see what we got here. Now, this preset is basically pretty much stock. From how it came i just did some very minor tweaking to it but it's essentially it's a stock preset so i really can't claim it as my own but it sounds great so let's go for it
definitely having a lot of fun with this plugin. Man, that thing sounds so lush and full and, I don't know, it's awesome. Pick your adjective. Yeah, so like I said, uh, you know, just make a drink, have a drink, whatever you like. I don't know, have some hot tea, have some coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, or an adult beverage. Uh, vodka gets the job done. And with a little ice, dilute it, don't even know it's alcohol. Anyways, what's going on today, guys? Maybe throw a comment down below. Give me some questions. Tell me what you're doing. What are you playing? Uh, do you play late at night like I do? Uh, there's nobody in the house but me and my cat, so it's like if I feel like playing at midnight or 2 a.m. and I'm awake, I just go ahead and do it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's real quiet. I live in a very secluded, kind of a rural area. I've got a wooded lot in the back, and it's real quiet here. It's almost like a scene from a movie, like waiting for someone to show up at the back door, you know, with a knife in their hand, like, I like your house. Can I come in? But not really. But, um, yeah, we're just chilling out tonight. What do you guys think about that tone, by the way, right? And it really helps, too, to have your guitar tuned down a little bit because it just gives it that full, lush, rich, rich sound, you know, that you really don't always get when you're in standard tuning. Um, Plus, you know, you can even play your normal riffs or your normal songs in a, in a lower tuning just to make it easier to sing to or just to make it sound a little different. The timbre of the guitar rings differently, I think, for some lower tuned guitars. In fact, uh, recently I saw a video by Rhett Shull, whose channel I highly recommend you check it out, where he basically said that the Fender Stratocaster or any basically any Stratocaster guitar sounds better uh, in... E flat than it does in standard tuning and again I think it's that same kind of concept where it's just like it's a different timbre it rings it resonates a little differently uh, it's a little bit bassier sounding which is always nice if you especially if you're trying to fatten up or you know make a fuller sound out of the uh, single coils or you know if you've got a thin sounding amp or plug-in or what have you and you just want to fill it out with a little more tone definitely uh, try half step down or full step down it's a lot of fun and um, just gives a new perspective on you know the regular riffs that you normally play. Uh, it, it makes everything sound a little bit heavier too. You know if you're going for that kind of feel, which I usually am, it's kind of fun to do. I was messing around with Dad Gad for a while because you know John Brown was playing in Dad Gad and um, some of those guys, you know Ollie uh, Steele, some of those other guys, and I, it was tough for me to write riffs in that tuning because it's so unfamiliar to me. I didn't grow up playing in alternate tunings. Certainly not something like Dad Gad or some other kind of open tunings. I never really did that stuff before. Although, I am going to start trying out some slide pretty soon, and I'm going to have to throw one of my guitars in some open tuning to do that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But again, it's something completely new to me. Never tried it before. I've been playing guitar for years. So, you know, I would recommend that to you. You know, if you're stuck in a rut and it's like, what do I practice next? Or why am I not progressing? when I'm practicing the same scales and stuff every day or you know all the time. It's like just take yourself out of your comfort zone and try to play something completely foreign to you. You know, it doesn't have to be faster or more technical, just something different, something that you don't normally play. Um, I was talking to my barber today, Joe, and uh, I, I said the same thing to him. I'm basically like, if you're trying to write new riffs, you know, trying to write your own music, and you keep end up playing the same thing or the same kind of thing, then just stop, you know, kind of think about it for a minute. Like, what do I never do? I never play slide. Or what do you never do? You never do bends or you never do uh, arpeggios or maybe you only strum and you never do single note lines. I don't know. Whatever you normally don't do, just try something different. Try it out a little while and see if you can, you know, make something up that sounds cool to you. That's a basis for like, learning and progressing and I think any genre or any field is basically push your limits you know push the envelope a little bit farther every time you practice every time you pick up the guitar every week try to you know do something a little bit different and you never know you might impress yourself you might find something really cool that you never thought you could do or never knew how to do and you just kind of figured it out yeah I think for me in the short term I'm going to mess around with some uh, open tunings some slide and continue to also kind of 
see if I can write some more of this gen stuff. I hate using that term because, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's got a negative connotation to it these days already. It's like, I just found out about what gent is like a year ago, but it's been out for many years at this point, And I'm just, I'm new to it because I'm an older guy, but I like the way it sounds. You know, I, I like the percussiveness of it. I like the choppy, um, odd meter that it sounds like, even if it is in 4-4, four four, it's kind of math rock. You know, you just have these weird syncopated rhythms and weird tempo feel to it. It's almost better to not have a good reference point musically when you're trying to do something new because for me it's like I'm trying to make it up out of my head. So when I do that like that, that opening riff that I did, I made that up from my own mind. I didn't basically watch other guitar players and then say how can I incorporate exactly what they're doing into my lick. It's more like I have a general sense of what they're doing, you know, sort of kind of, and then I just kind of forget about it and then I just go and write my own thing. And if it ends up sounding good to you, it is good. It doesn't matter. You need nobody else to validate your music or your riffs or your, your melodies or whatever. Just do what comes naturally to you. You know, play whatever it is that you like, and it's good. Nobody else has to validate you. No one else has to tell you it's good or bad. Just enjoy what you play, right? I guess I'll play another one that you've probably heard before on the channel. Kind of hanging out guys We're just chilling out it's late at night if you're like me when i can't sleep i roll over immediately open up youtube and just watch a video i'll set the phone on my chest and just listen to a video listen to somebody explain something about guitar music recording amp sims whatever so if you want just do the same thing that i do just put on my video set it down you don't even have to watch it just kind of listen lay back chill and uh soon enough i will put you to sleep <laughs> That is pretty much guaranteed. What do we got here? Ooh. played let's see if we can find a really nice smooth sounding uh, lead tone it's not bad let's see here mm -hmm. 
Every guitar is going to sound different with your presets, you know, or any given day of the week, you might, your ears will hear the uh, amp a little bit differently anyways, so it's like you always want to tweak it. I don't know. I do. when you screw up the last note of a phrase oh my god do it all over again do it all over again let's add in some a uh, little more delay there we go that's a little better Back to that original uh, rhythm tone that I had at the beginning of the video, which I just called low tune riffage. Pretty plain and straightforward, but it does a job, right? <laughs> How many wrong notes did I play in that thing? I don't know, guys. I'm just messing around tonight. So what are you guys doing out there in uh, internet land? That's too much, man. I love it.
right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for me for the night. Uh, I had a lot of fun hanging out, and I hope you did too. Um, in the future, going forward, I'm going to try to get these Midnight Sessions episodes out kind of on a monthly basis. Won't make you wait so long for the next one because it's just a nice laid-back, chill time. You know, it's quiet, it's late at night. Have yourself an adult beverage, sit back and relax, and we can just chit-chat. Um, so definitely keep those comments coming. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Throw them in the comments down below. I will make sure to answer every single comment that I receive uh, as, for as long as I can. And for all of my subscribers, I want to say a big thank you. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers. You know how YouTube works. So we got to kill that algorithm, guys. Help me out. So definitely hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, definitely make sure to check out the next uh, video because I'm going to have a big announcement there that uh, may benefit you. So you never know. So until next time, guys, sweet dreams. It's late. Talk to you soon. See ya. Also getting crunched up. <laughs>